course, the prize money on offer is absolutely sensational for these country greyhounds who, as I say, travel many, many miles to compete in the world of greyhound racing each and every week. $8,000 on offer. Bill Baker, a former chairman of the New South Wales GBOTA, he was the man at the helm when the golden Easter egg was born some 21 years ago. Leading the parade is number one, Arara Flash, winning his heat or her heat from Grafton, and of course is trained by Gary Smith, having first run at the track. It is start 61. As I mentioned, that's what happens with these country greyhounds coming to Wendy Park for the first time. Arara Flash, ladies and gentlemen. Number two, Phantom Black, is trained by Ron Wright, and again having first run here at the track at start 33, was successful at Kempsey, and we certainly wish them well travelling down from the north coast. Number two, Phantom Black. Three to white is one a run. It's got to be one of the favourites of the race. It's one here in 30 and 21. It's a very good run. And, of course, a greyhound that was successful out at Bathurst is one a run. Trained by Johnny Chapman. He's been here before today. Number Attention three, one a run. The connections For the Blue Future Brian Fund, one of the super greyhounds. 109 Brian starts Barrington it is tonight. He's won two here at Wentworth Park, the fun. 30 and 31 is his best Barrington time. And he's been successful at Armadale and Gunnada in recent weeks. Number four, Future Fund. Johnny Harris has got number five, Bud Sonnet. Again, a winner here in 30 and 68. Was successful recently at Musselbrook. Again, a very experienced greyhound is Bud Sonnet. Number six is Sunlit Hope. Owned and trained by Pete French. And a greyhound having his uh, her third start here at Wendy Park. 40 starts overall. Was successful at Tamora. So come up here from the Riverina District. Number six, Sunlit Hope. Seven in the black, maybe Jesse. 13 starts here at Wentworth Park, so is the most experienced campaigner in the race, trained by Terry Lockhart from down at Falls Creek and was successful at Nowra recently to make it through here. Number seven, maybe Jesse. And number eight is running cargo for Ron Steele from up there at Wellington near Dubbo, and that's where that uh, Greyhound was successful just on a week ago, was uh, running cargo. Had one start here to have a look at Wentworth Park. Tonight, the second appearance at start 49. We wish them well. These country greyhounds that have come to the big city, we thank their connections for the miles they put in each and every week. And to the winner tonight will go the spoils of just on $8,000 plus trophies. set. The green light is through. The bunny's up to the boxes. Ready. Racing. Arara Flash missed it. First away in the centre was Sunlit Hope and crashed to the left. Maybe Jesse got across and following it through is running cargo. Eight lengths away next. Bud Sonnet flattened by Phantom Black. Around the outside. Want to run Arara Flash and a future fun. Down the back. And Sunlit Hope by three. Closing in quickly now is running cargo. They pack up front. Around the outside is maybe Jesse. Next in the race as they corner. Want to run Phantom Black into the straight. Sunlit Hope again dash to the lead. Down the outside is Want to run but in front, Sunlit Hope draws away and wins. Sunlit Hope by four, running Cargo second. The third one to run, Phantom Black, followed by Arara Flash. Budsonette had no peace. Next home was Future Fund, and maybe Jesse was back near the tail. Sunlit Hope. I would have to say it's nearly the, the outside of the field, bar running Cargo, and they're running one, two down the back. Six, the green is the winner, Sunlit Hope. It's had 12 wins from 40 starts. It's had two runs here, or now three runs for one win, one second by Phoenix Ice out of Sunlit Waters. Is owned and trained by Peter French of St. Isidore. Second is number eight, the pink running cargo, Ron Steele of Wellington, and number three, want to run. John Chapman of Lidsdale, third. Number two has run fourth. Three and a three quarters was the winning margin. Three and three quarters by one. And the time for the journey was 30.83. 30.83 was the time.
never mind the dog, but um, and the top rate dogs and they're so good. So it's quite frustrating. But no, that's uh, they're your uh, Stan Indy Dog. Five fifty one, fourteen twenty two with a switch. Five fifty one, fourteen twenty two, three and three quarters by one thirteen eighty three. That. Okay, with me, some very happy people from the country, just uh, down in the Riverina districts. And, of course, Pete, uh, Sunlit just comes spearing out and then a bit of a mind of her own. Mate, she does it all the time. She gets out in front and she just sees it. She, she's been a good bitch to us and we've got all the Sunlit dogs and Sunlit waters, bred us a lot of winners. And, mate, we won this a couple of years ago, the Western District of Sunlit Bird. Mate, I'm over the moon. I've got to pinch myself. Thanks, Wentworth Park and... Everyone else. Right, well, Peter, it's what the sport's all about. The, the grassroots people that put the days in and the hours in, the miles in. You've done it all. You've been through floods and droughts and everything down there in the last couple of years. So you've seen it all. Congratulations. We'll have you back here at the presentations. Good on you, champ. Well done. Thanks, Thanks, Rory. Good on you, Pete. <laughs> Now the toe dividends, number six, Sunlit Hope, Yahoo, $36 for the win. And if you backed it, dead set, you're entitled to say Yahoo, 36 even for the win. Uh, Quinella has paid $235.20, the Exacta, $321.60, uh, the Trifecta, $1,616.80, the first four, Ladies and gentlemen, we have the presentation of this year's Bill Baker Give Me Five at Stud Bull and Barley Final. We've heard the celebrations already down here, trackside. The great winners. The great winners. It's just what it's all about. As we welcome back the winner and place getters, first of all, the third place getter. Coming back to the dais, what a run. The winner takes his mark, and of course the runner-up running cargo. Mentioned in the pre-race parade, many of these trainers throughout 12 months just run into hundreds of thousands of kilometres to race their greyhounds, and tonight it's very special, not only for the winner and place getters, but all the finalists to be part of Metropolitan Racing on a major group night and it's certainly been a, a wonderful achievement. And uh, Sunlit Hope has certainly given a special Christmas present to all her connections down there in the Riverina, and we thank them for being part of the evening. I'd just like to call upon now to present the third placing first. And I'll down at the runners-up trophy to come forward too, please, for Mr George Hayes. Because Ron Steele's been here many times from uh, coming down from Wellington. And we've got the winner's trophy, Mr. Richard Bly, to present to the uh, trainer. And we'll just ask Sue Absalom from the uh, GBOTA directorship to come round to sash Sunlit Hope before this rain starts to uh, gather on us. We're going through this pretty quickly tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Sunlit Hope, who has taken out the Bill Baker Bull and Barley final for 2010. I'll just grab Pete to uh, say a few words. Yeah, thanks, Ron. Thanks, Wentworth Park. I'd like to thank my wife for helping with the dog, Pat, Patty the Strapper. Sorry, he's over here. You heard him do the big yee ha. And Brett the catcher, and anyway, we, we're in it for a good time. We love our dogs, and 
If we win an $8,000 race or 800, we still get a buzz out of it. So we'll have a drink when we get on the walk tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Thanks to the place getters. And Congratulations, Pete, and well done to everybody in the team. A great country atmosphere. And we congratulate the runners up and the, uh, the third Greyhound as well, and all the finalists for travelling many miles, I mentioned, to be part of Wentworth Park. Ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up the Bull, Bill Baker Bull and Barley for 2010. Let's hear one more here. Yeah! There we go. We've got the Summer Cup coming up very shortly.